All right, uh, hey guys, gonna play another match with um, Blue White Tron here. That is, um, well, it's not a great hand, but I think it's acceptable. Yeah, hopefully this is a match where rematch is good. Nope, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Yep, can't do much about that. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Uh, you will see the burn match infinity number of times online if you are playing modern. Infinity. Let's see how fast of a hand he has. Uh, that's not bad. If he misses a land drop here, that'd be pretty nice. Well, it's not great. I mean, we have gifts. So if we can live that long, if he has a slow hand, then gifts can win us the game. So we're going to aggressively remand. Play a two drop. Play an Eidolon. Come on. Play the Eidolon. Play it. Uh, if he spends his whole turn playing an Eidolon and I get to remand it, that's uh, that's just super good for us. If he has an Eidolon, uh, I can't imagine him not playing it right now. That's normally a card you want to get on the table pretty much as quickly as possible, I would think. I'm not really a burn aficionado, so if I'm incorrect about that, feel free to comment and let me know. I respect the deck for what it is, but it is certainly not something I'm interested in playing myself. And it does take a certain amount of skill. People who say that it's just, you know, slam things on the table and turn them sideways, that's not always true. There are, there are definitely skilled burn players out there. gonna remand that I guess just because I want to draw a card I'm still taking four which sucks but so if he misses a land drop here and he tries to do that again next turn then I think we are in fine shape great Yeah, so this is just Urza's Tower and then Signet. That leaves us Remand up. And we can Gifts and get Iona. And wrap this up. And if we draw the third Tron land, then we are just ducks in the pond. Triton Strength. Oof. I can't remand that because then he just gets to cast it again. But uh, this could be really bad for us. If he goes for the Man Morphos here, I will remand that again. Yep. Still taking a lot of damage. Too much damage, actually. Uh, yeah, now I think we're just screwed. The other Tron land would be a great out here. Because then I could cast Gifts Ungiven. Oh, gross. Ah, yeah, that's 13. Come on. Send it across the table. I hate this card. There's a few cards that they've printed recently that I just... I don't know about. 
Okay, well, that happens. Let's see. What do we like here? Well, what don't we like here? So we can shave an expedition map. That's not super important in this matchup. I hate the, I hate the, the columns in Magic Online. I'm usually not one of those people to complain how horrible Magic Online is, because it's definitely got its issues, but that that column creation is really annoying. So, let's see. I think I like both of our reanimation targets. I like the rats. I'm not wild about Sphinx's Rev, but it's probably good to have. I like that. I like that. I think I like that. Titan Strength is an instant, right? I definitely like that. I like Celestial Purge. My guess is that's a budget deck, so I doubt that he has Blood Moons, but it is possible. What? How do I feel about Fate's Feathers? Hmm. How do I feel about Fates Feathers? It's a good question. Let's see. I mean, I could probably cut one of the top end things. Just keep the deck a lot lower to the ground. I didn't see any burn, but it must be in there, right? Hmm. This is This might be incorrect, but I think I'm just going to cut the top end and go like this. Maybe... How do I win now? I'm going to try this. Maybe I'm bringing in too much. I might be over sideboarding here. That's really possible. It might be correct to keep Sphinx's Revelation in. Huh. Well, I actually don't think I can mulligan this. We're going to need to draw some stuff, but we've got the tools. Like, without a thirst for knowledge, I think this would definitely be a mulligan. And I have to cast the Colonnade first because I want to be able to cast this on turn three, even though it means if he like gets a Monastery Swiss Spear first turn, I have to take the point of damage. Which I guess isn't the worst. Maybe hanging onto the path until he like blows a Titan Strength on is better anyway. Get that good old fashioned two for one. Yep. Oh, you know what might have been fun to bring in here is Favor of the Mighty. Oh, I wish I had thought of that. I've really been wanting to test out that card. Okay. Because then he can't target any of his creatures with uh, uh, his pump spells. It just does not work. Sure. Okay. That's not a bad draw. All right, we're just gonna hold up mana and thirst.
it's possible I should have played the Ghost Quarter there. Because I'm, like, right now I'm completely disrespecting Blood Moon. I'm just assuming he doesn't have Blood Moon. I'm really glad he just didn't tap any of his mana there. For a deck like his, just not making a 2-drop is a pretty... Okay, that's fine. So we are kind of all in on Path to Exile if he's trying to, like, go nuts here. Oh, this might be the... This is the Teamer Battle Rage deck that got posted on MTG Goldfish a few days ago. That's probably what this is. It's like a Kiln Fiend style Assault Strobe, Teamer Battle Rage, that kind of thing. I'm going to take four here. I think I'm fine with that. So, like, now I'm going to try and bath it. He probably has a bunch of Apostles Blessings. Nope. Nifty. And he doesn't get the scry off Titan Strength, which is nice. Although I don't get to cast Thirst for Knowledge, which isn't nice. But now I can snap Path to Exile, which is nice. Day of Judgment. Do I want to leave up Snapcaster, Path to Exile? Or do I want to Thirst for Knowledge? He has four cards in hand. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to leave up Snap Path to Exile. If he goes like Monastery, Swift Sphere, Assault Strobe, Titan Strength, Titan Strength, that's pretty bad for us. So that's 6, 8, 9 times 2. Yeah, that's lethal. Okay. So now we're in a great position. He didn't do anything. It's not a great draw. Like a Gifts is probably what we're looking for right now. I don't think there's any reason to show him I have Tron up. A lot of land. Lots of land. Might have been able to pitch two lands and hang on to the Signet. That might have been wrong. Signet's really great at activating Celestial Colonnade. Too much land. Alright, if he doesn't do anything, then I'm going to Snapcast for Thirst for Knowledge. I think we win the draw go game. Now we'll just put some pressure on the board, even if it is just a 2 on. Like, he has to do something about it eventually. Thirst. Okay, cast Thirst. Wow, come on. So, I'm going to discard two cards, and they are going to be Flooded Strand, Ghost Quarter. Now we're going to play Power Plant, use Power Plant to play Signet. Uh, let's 
see. I want to leave a path. So. That. Activate here. Alright. And now we'll just be down for the rest of the game. Maybe I'm getting greedy with attackers. Because now I can't activate the colonnade again, should I need to. So if he has, like, the nuts and Apostle's Blessing, we I lose. Because I could have just waited another turn, I guess. And then... Oh, here we go. I've never played against this deck before. If I lose right now, this will be an important lesson. Oh man, I feel it. I don't feel good about this. Desperate ritual, sure. Maybe I path now. What happens if I path now? It pays the one. Eh. Yeah, he can still cast Apostle's Blessing anyway. So I might as well just let him dump as many cards as he wants to first. That's fine. Also fine. Sure. This is twelve right now, it's not lethal. does he have? Really? So like, I think now's our shot. <laughs> if he has another Apostle's Blessing, then he has another Apostle's Blessing, but I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, well, uh, that's what I get. Lesson learned. Better to just wait. So like I'm just gonna F6 here. Holy shit, that's not lethal. Right. Okay. Do you have a lightning bolt? That would be a good follow up. I really wish I had drawn a better card right there. Uh, there's got to be a better way to tap than that. There we go. Wait, nope. Okay. We're going to use our brains. Jesus. We're going to attack first. Dig two. Boom. Alright, now. I'm having a bad day. There we go. Finally. Third. Tries the charm. Okay, so I have Celestial Colonnade up as a blocker. He's got two cards in hand. I lose to Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt would be pretty good. So many lands. If 
but I do have a lot of live draws. That's not bad. Okay, so now I have a blocker and a path to exile. I guess if he has Apostle's Blessing for white anyway, it doesn't matter though. Boom. Okay, so now that I know what I'm playing against, let's have another look at this sideboard. Favor of the Mighty is definitely going to come in, because this just became hilarious. And I think I'm going to take out Ghostly Prison? Maybe not. Maybe Ghostly Prison is still fine. Leyline of Sanctity is now no longer good. And maybe, like, Negate is probably fine. I think I like that. Delay is probably fine too. Maybe it's even better than Condensend. Let me try this. Let's try this. Ugh. That is a horrible hand. God, that is bad. That's going right back. That is not a whole lot better. But it's got a path and it's got a signet, so it's going to stay. And again, if we make it to gifts, we win this game. And if he plays a creature, I will path it right now. Yep, that is getting pathed immediately. That was horrible. I should have done that as upkeep. Fuck. Oh, that was bad. I've been playing Legacy lately. I guess my head's just not in the modern game. That was that was shitty. Don't do that at home. Oh, that was so dumb. I deserve to be punished for that. Yep. Yep. Oh, god damn. I'm bad and I feel bad. So, whenever you can ask, okay, that gets it whenever. So, what happens here? I go. I think I'm gonna celestial purge that kiln fiend. Ah, uh, how much damage do I think it can do right now? If Kiln Fiend gets double strike, it becomes 4 times 2 is 8, plus another 2 is 10, and if that gets double strike, that becomes... Uh, that's still a lot. Yeah. I don't like not casting the Signet here, but I really don't want to risk it. We need, to, uh, we need to start getting some live draws. Yep. 
yes, now I'm now I'm glad I got rid of that dumping. Let's see how much you can do here though. Assault strobe is no joke. Yep. So nine times two, I go to one. Have to get the blister coil off the turn, off the table this turn, or I lose. That won't do it. Wow, bummer. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're interested in this deck up here, it did just get posted on uh, mtggoldfish.com, I think, a few days ago. So you can go check that out. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Was anything coming? No. Nothing was- wow, nothing was coming ever. <laughs> Stupid game.